here we are in the top right with the first of the players into our semi-finals playing as the undead the one we've had in multiple of our tournaments before and done very well second place on our ladder And on the bottom side of the map, playing as the Night Elves, keeping up the tradition of us seeing a Night Elf player in every game that we've done today. Uh, a newer in introduction to our uh, tournaments, but a very successful one nonetheless. Having a little checkup of what's happening on the bottom side of the map. Got the Death Knight opening coming out. Who have we got here? We got the uh, Keeper of the Grove, the Sonic. Um, gonna reset that quickly. So that uh, doesn't doesn't think that anyone has won a game so far. We turn it around. We'll get it in the right color, won't we? There we go. Peek the undead is in the red. Beautiful. So no uh, aggressive death knight openings. I often see that with uh, death knights just running over the map and starting chaos. Keeper of the Grove will be the one to take his turn doing that, just sending in some uh, tree ants. Actually going to try and steal a camp up here. Ghoul has spotted what's going on. And here's the Death Knight. Absolutely not going to let that happen. Thank you for setting up that turtle for me. Gets the skeletons out as well. Doesn't manage to block in there between those turtles. Probably a little bit too big of a gap for that to happen either way. Couple little snap jaws left alive. A town is under siege. The player's forces are under attack. Have a round of treants out now so uh, he can keep on fighting while death knight does a little bit of shopping gets himself that staff of teleportation keep a grove already with a couple of ghoul kills is gonna look for some more death knight wanting to stop him there is quite a big pack of ghouls over here coming down to stop anything happening on the other side of the map Unless we see some whiffs coming over here, this is looking good for the undead. Just sending ghouls back whenever they get a little bit too low. Sonic. Cancelling that, not wanting to lose any more money than he has to. That looks like Summoner's Rift. I mean, I guess it does have the the river through the middle. You could uh, imagine this is this is sort of mid lane, I guess. Are under These sort of uh, free lane maps are, are pretty popular in uh, RTS design in all games. I remember the hull of around Dawn of War three when that came out, and everyone saying the maps were based around free lanes and they were bad map design and it was moberish and everything and then people sort of pointed out that there were there were just as many free map designs in great classic rts like war of free starcraft all those sort of games just the i, th I think it was just the mini maps in dawn of war 3 were incredibly minimalist which made them quite good in terms of uh clarity but they weren't very appealing visually and they really accentuated some of the uh, map design 
Nice heal goes down on that ghoul, but not going to be enough because he gets rooted. A net from the troll on the other ghoul as well. Really desperate to keep some of these alive, Sheik, but he's just all of his ghouls going down. And uh, he's been stopped from taking out this camp either. Nice leaving that one archer there. Make sure that he has vision. So in the backside, there we go. Gargoyles coming out. So there's going to be some uh, harassment play going on in a little while. The double ancient law going down, as we've seen a few times from uh, uh, night off players here. There's the first cargo flying over, seeing what's happening. Gives away what he's doing a little bit. Well, entirely, but uh, really not worried about that. Are under attack. Goes, and the Lich coming in with the slow as well now. Oh, is this going to actually be death? Nope, there we go. He does have the TP still. Both players haven't used their TP yet. The Demon Hunter are going to get caught out a little bit. Gargoyle's looking for anyone who they can catch. So it's one... Archer down, a second archer going down. Bit of mana burn. Yeah, I've got back into Dota recently, so I need to be careful that I don't call this guy anti mage. A bit of an XP advantage now coming down on Sonic. Here we are. The harassment has begun. Gargoyle has just taken out as many wisps as they can catch. While the hero is dual out on the other side of the map. Tangling roots down on the Death Knight. Is he going to have to use his teleport now? No. Oh. Be too short. We do have the bears starting to come out as well, which is going to make a really tough front line for these gargoyles to punch through, getting the slaughterhouse up. So we are getting more tech out from the undead. Sheik just cannot clear this this camp without getting uh, harassed. Mana burn really low on the Death Knight. Super close to level 3 as well. But just absolutely not an, even enough speed to threaten him. Potion of invulnerability from the Lich will get him away. And now it's starting to get a little bit scary, but he has his own invulnerability potion. So the Death Knight won't be in any danger. Lich goes down. Level 2 on the Death Knight as well, his own invulnerability pops. Royals trying to make it too dangerous for Sonic to push on his heroes. A player's forces are under attack. There's TP, he got entangling roots, and so he has to dive out. Awkward to not have that anymore, but he can sit at home and heal up now, but this gives uh, Sonic a little bit of time to expand on uh, the advantage that he already had. Good idea of me to uh, 
make a post-it note with stuff that I needed to remember, but it keeps falling off. Moonwell's all dry out here. All been used up. More bears coming out. The big bear army is going to start up, and what is going to fight it there is destroyer form being upgraded. Ghoul frenzy as well. There we go. We already have an obsidian statue out. There's useful auras. Players' forces are under attack. Nice little chunk of XP coming out from the death of the overload. There we go, Orb of Venom, being very useful to chase these guys away. Very different item from what it is in Dota, of course. Really used to it in there. A player's forces are under attack. The Whisper's going to spot out what's going on here. Sonic getting his own set of XP, but he knows what's happening now. Level 3 on both of his heroes. The player's forces are under attack. Looking for what XP there is left on the map. Here we go. Argo's going in for another run of harassment. There we go. Demon Hunter back with his Orb of Venom. A lot of damage there, so he's immediately going to force these Gargoyles out. Anti-Magic Potions are very, very uh, lore-friendly to have on the Anti-Mage. Oh, that's a Gargoyle dangerously low. And he's down. Keeper of the Grove caught him on the other side. And now there are people all over the place just surrounding this undead army. Losing an obsidian statue there is not great. Destroyer carefully being held at the back. Now the archers obviously on one side weren't very strong and so uh, sort of just get run through. Not the greatest uh, claps for them. And with no hesitation, Sheik just immediately going to be back to farming. Getting some more archers to go with these bears. There we go, a little bit of an accidental meeting. Oh, destroyer. Okay, gone on there a little bit by the Demon Hunter, but he changes his target to one of the Gargoyles. Sort of switching it up a little bit there. Not quite getting anyone down, so the Gargoyle is still doing a lot of damage, but it's just this... These bears are just such a, a tanky little gang of dudes. Very low on that Destroyer there. Needs to be careful that he's not going to get caught out. A little bit of a wet noodle fight there, feels like, honestly. Very close to some uh, important units going down. He did lose one Obsidian Statue, which he replaces immediately. Lich getting a little bit low, but apart from that, everything is fine for him.
under siege. A farm there that just gets caught out by uh, Sonic being there as well. They're going to sort of awkwardly share this creep camp and try and take some of the archers out as well. Archers being the squishies, they can dive in there and do a lot of damage there. Archers going down incredibly quickly. Most of the archers down now, a couple of dryads coming out on the same side. I haven't seen much going down on the undead side, honestly. Death Knight was trapped in the middle there, so he's gone. Demon Hunter taking his own high amount of damage. Getting TP'd out immediately by the Keeper of the Grove, so a nice move there. And uh, the Sheik's Air Force will hover over the hill and sneak away. Might be able to take out a bear there. But one just caught out. There's still three bears on the night elf side. So I think I'd call that a win for Sonic, honestly. Starting to get the destroyer army out. I have very sure boy, there he is, getting the death knight back out. Couple of dryads coming out now. Losing those couple of bears, it has sort of hurt him. But he's got the demon hunter back much quicker because he managed to save him with that stuff, teleportation. Huge amounts of DPS going to come out from Sheik onto that demon hunter. But we, I, I, you know, we sh would likely see him saved again. But at least he's out of the battle very quickly here. And now there are very few bears left. So there is not a huge tank line this time to soak up a lot of the Gargoyle shots. Dryad is going out. Now focuses on the bear. Bear is down. Well, this is the turnaround. Incredibly... Fast aerial army here. Demon Hunter has come back, but he's not at a high HP. Not really threatened much by this. Yeah, and he's going to get just sent away immediately again. Another archer down. Keep the Grove standing his ground for a little bit there. Takes a kill, gets a level, backs off. And Lord Deathstrom is Is under siege. Players force are under attack. Oh, here we go. Cheek trying to retreat back towards his uh, own abode, but he's getting caught out by Sonic, who's here. Decides he can fight, though. A TP home for that bear will keep him safe. And once again, he's just diving on the back line, just clearing out all of these archers. There's another bear here who he gets caught out slightly on the edge and focuses. Most of the gargoyles run away at this point, though. A nice heal there on the Lich. Angling roots of the Lich. Oh. Oh, 
bear has to get rescued again. A couple of the gargoyles are back out. Army of Sheik now mainly filled by destroyers. Close for no cigar. And now there's healing coming out. Does get entangling rooted, but he's up to level six as well. There we go. The rest of the army out now. Even Hunter caught in an awkward position, still looking for that lich kill. Dryad's now on there as well, but the heal comes out from the Death Knight, and that ruins everything. And vulnerability potion used by the Demon Hunter, who's still going on it. He's still just eyes all on this list. Lich. But Gargoyles and Destroyer back now, and now he's off. He's broken free, and he's on the run. There we go. Big kill on the other side. Sonic is out. We are back in game. And uh, taking the first game so far in the red. The wrong music there, that one's my bad. The top right. I'll play the wrong music for this one too, why not? I'll play chic music for Sonic. It's Sonic! Then I'm going to, once again, swap them around so that we have Sheik in the correct colour. The oh, Warden. Warden, probably? Players' forces are under attack. Good time.
town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. A player's forces are under attack. Players force are under attack. Big chunk. He thinks he's close around the trap. Yeah. 
Death Knight, Knight's Lord, or Teleport, D4. That's those bears. Just there and Players' forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Yep, yep. I'm gonna knock it up into Mars.
That's near. Oh. I'm going to dive in. Oh, that's the Great one again. I do not want to let both of those heroes into his back. Post down. One, one. Back into game and in the top left. The winner of our last game coming back to see if he can reverse sweep the series. And the winner of our first game. Players' forces are under attack. Possibly going to get a longer match on this one, although we have seen in our previous meta place tournaments it going very aggressive on this map with the Death Knight and taking an early victory. Not going to be incredibly aggressive early. It's the typical early expand setup from the Undead player. Keep the Grove coming across the map, which seems pretty common for him.
big heal out there keeps that guy alive for at least a little bit longer. The grove getting very low. Oh, that's not a good start. So Sonic tried to be aggressive this time and uh, did not work out well for him at all. Gonna have to revive his still level one. Grove's back up and is going to finally get his level 2. But at the same time, we already have level 3 on the Death Knight over here. So Tree of Life is upgrading. Keep the Grove's going to go be aggressive again. But it looks like we might have the same sort of aggression coming out from Sheik. Forces are under attack. The town is under siege. Well, Acolyte's being chased away on the right side of the map. We have Sheik going for Ancient of uh, or the Tree of Life. There's sort of a bit of an awkward early game base trade going on here. Gonna try and kill some of these wisps before they manage to heal the Tree of Life. Keeps his Shadow Priest alive. And then back onto the Tree of Life. Deal some damage. Ziggurat goes down, but there's still an Acropolis on Sheik's side. There we go. Tree of Life has fallen. Keep the Grove wants to do something about this. But as low health as the Death Knight is, I think he's going to get away. Body blocking there for his, his Shadow Priest. Comes back for the heal, that might have been the mistake, but gets him killed. Bonk. Oh, and now a group of archers just catching out the Death Knight. He will have to retreat now, so... More damage done by Sheik, but Sonic is in the stronger position now. A player's force has our under attack. Under siege. Keep the Grove here, keeping the forces of Sheik busy while his archers go about re-damaging this scene with the Demon Hunter coming in to join. TP out from the Keeper of the Grove, so he's given up on this offensive because he knows at the bottom side, Demon Hunter and the archers are absolutely going ham on Sheik. Forces 
You're not going to get that archer there, unfortunately. You're going to get a different archer. Oh no, he body blocks his own archer and it gets killed. Oh, that's unlucky. Mana burn there. Scaring the Death Knight off and the Keeper of the Grove is back to buy. The Sonic keeping up this aggression to try and return the favor of the damage Sheik did to him earlier. He's going to have to come up here and make sure his Keeper of the Grove is safe. Shadow Priest going to go down. That's a good pick. It's around on the Keeper of the Grove. But it's not strong units. Oh! A nice pick off there from the Death Knight, however. So that's the second time the Keeper of the Grove is going down this game. That was a level 3 Keeper of the Grove. Nice bit of experience for the Death Knight, who's now popping up to level 4. Very careful with the Death Knight. The Death Knight is more powerful but quite low health. Gets to heal up so he can join back into this fight again. Nice blocks out. Up in the Dryad from coming through as well. A player's forces are under attack. The other side of the map, just a couple of Skelly men. Doing some harassment, and the Tree of Life is back up and entangling this gold mine. The town is under siege. Thank you, at a war song. Oh, another kill going down for the Death Knight as well. These are big shots he's getting off. Three heroes he has killed. There we go, both uh, both sides setting up their uh, second base again. looking for what he can do here. Oh, and he's going to catch up the obsidian statue. That could be big if he manages to get the kill. He's got the dryad on the blocking duty, but doesn't keep him there for long. Had almost a surround there, but lets the keeper of the grove go. Two bears here. 
That's looking quite strong for Sonic as Sheik only has that one gargoyle coming out. The singular obsidian statue. There we go. Sonic takes one back. So, reverse sweep from Sonic, huge shout out to him, I pressed the wrong one again, I need to reorder that sign, huge shout out to Sonic, who uh, took that game, for some reason for a second there I thought that was the second game, but of course Sonic took that middle game, and uh, so reverse sweeps Sheik, which puts Sonic into the finals. He will, however, have to wait a little bit because we need to see Razaman versus Armin. That will be the next game. Yeah, it is now time to uh, set up the last game. Oh, we've got a game name already. Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully everyone is already... Big shout out to all our patrons. You enable us to make better content, host larger tournaments, and to give more back to the community. If you haven't already, make sure to collect your perks. Our next patron goal is at $300. It will allow us to double all tournament prize pools in Season 2. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.